Now the next middleware we are going to talk about is let's go to app HTTP middleware is CSRF token. Verify CSRF token. What is CSRF token? CSRF stands for cross site request forgery. This means when you are let's say login i'm trying to log in when you are trying to log in then as soon as you click on submit someone else from other system changed your data and then that changed data is go to your laravel app so how we can protect that whatever we have typed here exactly that will go on the laravel part for protecting that we are going to define the csrf token on every form so this is the form and on this form you can see we have a hidden field called underscore token and we have some value this value is checked by laravel whenever any form is submitted so how we can add this csrf token to our application you don't have to do much thing because we are on level so if i open resources views layout for login just after this uh, form you can see we have a csrf at csrf this at cfr csrf is actually a blade syntax to create that hidden field so if i comment this or even just i remove it and save this file refresh this open dev tool on this uh, form i inspect i cannot see any field or any hidden field of csrf token this means even though if i type correct email and password and hit enter it says page expired 419 that means now our laravel is saying that hey whatever you are typing whatever data you are giving me is not from exact website we have some problem i cannot find the csrf token so this is the way this csrf token is going to work and it's going to protect every route with cross site request forgery so again this is this middleware is uh, uh, situated inside every web.php file this means on our web middleware group which is here verify csrf token and in this middleware it's it's not going to do anything here because we need to go to middleware file actually and here we need to find the handle method and where we have this handle method and then it is checking for all these conditions of token is matched or not is reading is running unit test because if you we are running unit test we don't want to have a csrf tokens field we just want to test it so that kind of things are uh, working here and finally it if everything is going to work it will pass it otherwise it says token mismatch exception and this token mismatch exception is actually raising that 419 error we just saw but suppose for some reason we don't want to have uh, um, our csrf field to be applied for some uh, some form so if i remove this yes we know this is not going to work if i try to log in i can see page expire 419 because of uh, not having csrf token but i can say i don't want to apply the csrf token to my login route so again if i go you can see if i inspect i don't have any hidden field of csrf token but even after that if i try to log in yes you can see i am easily can able to log in so this is the way our csrf token is going to be very helpful and this middleware is actually going to help us in setting up csrf token for different kind of routes and different kind of situation so let's get back for csrf token for this login form and this is the way we can have csrf token in laravel application if you want to learn more advanced stuffs and work on real projects 
head over to bitfilms.com slash courses section where all Udemy courses are here and some of the premium courses just for this website. So you can just subscribe to this website with a minimum amount on the plan section at the bottom and then you can have everything unlocked with no advertisement, no hello hi, just pure learning. We will meet in the next episode till then. Goodbye.